In this example, we're going to be looking for local extrema, which means we're going to be looking for maxes and mins, which means we need to find the derivative, set it equal to zero, and test out some sections. So a little bit more complicated type of equation. We're going to have to do the derivative of this, and the derivative of this is going to involve doing the product rule. Um, and we recently did the derivative of this exact same problem um, on the previous problem, which is right here. So this was us doing the derivative of it. Um, and so we did the derivative of it, we distributed this in, we did our derivative, but then we got kind of this messy thing here, which we needed to rewrite some values and clean it all up and pull it all into one fraction. And that is our derivative. So we're gonna save a little bit of time and just say, here's our derivative because we have it in a previous video. So our derivative of this turned out to be four minus five X over three X to the one third. All right, so for us, we need to find critical numbers. Critical numbers are happening, um, not actually just setting this equal to zero, but we're trying to find when the slope is zero and when it's undefined. That doesn't happen all that often, but when we have an X in the denominator, that's when that's gonna potentially happen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out when the numerator is equal to zero, that's a zero slope. So we need to find out when we have a zero slope, which is taking the numerator and sending it equal to zero. And we need to find out when we have an undefined slope. And that is when we set the denominator equal to zero. All right, so it's not gonna be necessarily an extrema, but there's still gonna be a transition, a shift in the graph when something like that happens. So we need to figure out what's going on. Um, so if we set this equal to zero, uh, the numerator equal to zero to find our zero slope, we're gonna subtract the four and divide by the negative five. So that's gonna get us a four fifths. And then if we set this equal to zero, um, the only thing that's gonna get a zero, we would divide by three and cube it. We'll still get a zero. So actually um, that's an undefined slope. So we don't want to plug in a zero, all right, as far as slopes go. So we have zero and four fifths. All right, so let's test our sections, right? We have this fraction, we have our slope equation, and we're gonna plug in a negative one, let's say. So if we plug in a negative one, that would make this a positive. And so we'd be adding those two together. So the top would be positive. And then the bottom would be a negative because we'd be plugging a negative one into this, you bruning it, making it negative. And so if you take a positive divide by a negative, you have a negative. And then if you go from zero to four fifths, like a, a half maybe, we take four minus a half of five, that would be two and a half. So four minus two and a half is gonna keep a positive value. And then we're cube a positive, multiplying it by positive, so that'd be a positive. And then if we go to the right of four fifths, we're gonna plug it like a one. So that's a four minus a five would be negative. And then that's gonna be positive. So we're gonna have a negative. All right, so zero is undefined. It's not an asymptote. And I know that because this original, I don't have a, an asymptote at that spot, but I have something that is, um, have a negative slope, transitioning to a positive slope, right? So maybe the graph, maybe this is kind of like a cusp or a, or a corner or a cusp, something like that. Um, but then over on this side, we have this nice transition from a positive slope to a negative slope, giving us a max. So we're gonna have at minimal a relative max, might be an absolute uh, relative max at x equals four fifths. And then most likely we have some sort of a minimum. We'd have to dig a little bit deeper on that. Um, but for our local extrema, we're looking for when we have a, a zero slope that transitions nicely from a positive to a negative or a negative to a positive. All right, so that was finding some local, some local extremes um, on a little bit more complicated problem.